So now let's think about multiplying hundredths. What is 0 0.03 times 7? Well, we know that multiplication is repeated addition. So we can add 0 0.03 seven times. So if we have 0 0.03, if we have three hundredths, then we can multiply that by 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And now we have 21 hundredths, or 0 0.21, as our total. So what is 0 0.07 times 4? Well, what we're really doing here is adding 0 0.07 four times. So we have seven hundredths here, and if we times that by two, three, and four, we have 28 hundredths, or 0 0.28 as our answer. So if there are two decimal places in the multiplication, if there are two numbers after the decimal point, there will usually be two decimal places in the answer. So pause the video and see if you can answer these questions. 9 times 5 is 45, so 9 times 0 0.05 is 0 0.45. 12 times 3 is 36. So 12 times 0 0.03 is 0 0.36. 7 times 6 is 42. So 7 times 0 0.06 is 0 0.42. And 5 times 8 is 40. So 5 times 0 0.08 is 0 0.40. But we know that 0 0.40 is usually just written as 0 0.4. So while there are usually two decimal places in the answer, we can still get a number with one decimal place as our answer when we multiply by a hundredth. But that only happens when if we were multiplying by whole numbers, we'd have a zero on the end like we do with 40.